Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and Katie Haney is here to tell us why it's not too early to start planning your company's gift buying strategy for the holidays. Welcome Katie. Thank you Sarah. So we're just really right in the end of fall. It's, it's not even too cold yet. Is it, it's not too early to start thinking about holiday gift giving? You know, Sarah, that's a really good question. We've actually been crazy busy for the holiday season. We usually start around August, September is when we really start to get busy with people planning their strategies and working with us on their corporate gift strategy. Oh gosh, so we're kind of late now. <laughs> it's <laughs> we never too late, it. but. Never too late. You can turn it around. <laughs> right in the thick of it. Yeah, well, that's good to know. So it's not, so it's good to start early and start planning. So what are some gift buying and giving, gift giving tips for corporate gifts in your opinion? Well, there are so many choices in corporate gift giving and we've found in our business that um, really most companies know they should be giving something to you know key people and uh, you know top clients and referral partners and people they'd like to do business with but it's usually um, gift basket gift card bottle right. wine dinner out and we try to encourage people really to um, to really come up with something that is going to be um, you know gender neutral male female use it it's always a challenge um, something that is going to make the person remember you because a bottle of wine Omaha steak you know uh, gift basket it's going to be gone within a few weeks mm. what's something that they're going to actually use and and really remember you in the years to come so when you give a gift and we're talking about to clients for example you want to give something that's gonna last that's something, not something yeah. they'll use quickly and then it'll be gone um, but what about buying gifts for clients is it it's, see I almost felt like maybe that's a little passe that people don't do that as much in, in these economic times but have you seen that that really hasn't changed that is such a good question and it's always you know it's always a challenge figuring out your gift strategy but I'm a huge believer in the in the saying you know what you appreciate appreciate so even mm. in my business I'm always trying to figure out who are my top, you know, the, the rule, the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of your business typically comes from your top 20%. A lot of, you know, business books will say that, and I find that in my business. So I really encourage people to look at your, your gold group, your top 10 to 20%, and really recognize them and thank them, because chances are if you're showing gratitude and really going the extra mile for those top clients, mm -hmm. they're going to introduce you to people just like them who are people that you probably want to be in business with. So, and I really encourage people not to just look around the holidays days, but throughout the year, what are some little things that you could do to really keep your name in front of people and show appreciation? And is there a rule of thumb for how much money we should spend on a client? Does it depend on the amount of business they give you or how does that work? You know, it just depends on your business. Um, we Our sweet spot is really 50 to $200. We have larger gifts, we have smaller gifts, but um, it really comes down to, you know, price point and sometimes we find it's not necessarily what they spent because what if you do business with for example you're a real estate agent um, someone buys a hundred thousand dollar house from you but maybe their you know mother is the executive at you know AB or, or something like that or that's not around anymore but you know what I mean you never know who someone's connected right. to right so, so I encourage people have kind of just a you know a Fifty to two hundred dollars is, is typically what people spend, and um, just appreciate your top people. So it just kind of depends on the size of your business and how Absolutely. much you want what to your reward. Budget is. Yeah. yeah, and your budget, of course. You got to remember that. Absolutely. Okay, so you're so knowledgeable about corporate gift giving. Do you have any quick tips for personal gift giving? Because I know people get really um, overwhelmed with the idea of Christmas and holiday gift. Buying. It can be really overwhelming, and I've had years of experience. You know. Uh, I, I throughout the year I see the perfect gift and I think oh that'd be great and then I get to the Christmas and it's a blank slate and I'm like what what did I see right. so now what I do Sarah and I um, I've done this for the past few years is throughout the year when I see something I have an Amazon wish list and it's my wish list but I add I almost use it as my idea um, my ideal bl blackboard if you will to just really add ideas so that around October so November, ideas for other people in your family for absolutely. instance like you'll put it you'll go to Amazon if you think of something and put it in your wish list but it's for someone else. Absolutely. That's really smart. So then when it comes to the gift buying, you just go and press uh, buy now. <laughs> yeah, because you know, we, I, I always had like post-it notes everywhere and little notes and I'd lose them. So now it's just all online. Right so are there. you a proponent of buying online versus shopping out in the stores? Well, I am a huge um, St. Louis proponent and I live downtown. So I try to support, you know, local, mm. uh, local businesses. So I say, I kind of keep my Amazon wish list, but I try to buy local as much as possible. Right, there you go. So honest. just use the Amazon list for um, just the, the reminders. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I do use Amazon for some things. <laughs> yeah, of course we all do. So Katie, thank you so much for coming my and pleasure. talking to us about holiday gift giving. Um, it's never too early and never too late to get started. So we'll have to um, circle back with you later in the year for other gift buying tips. We'll be Great. back with more SDL TV live right after this break. But first, let's take a look at today's featured hot job brought to you by Slate and Missouri Workforce Development.